Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's morning here. Uh, it is Monday, February 6th. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you because we get to hear your word. We get to have your presence with us. We invite you, Holy Spirit, in this time, in this moment with our brothers and sisters in Christ that have, again, come just to love one and to love you with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind and love our brothers and our neighbors um, as ourselves. And as ourselves, we would love to have people come and pray for us, for our needs and for um, to join us as a team, as a family, as who you have called us to be father, which is family your church, to love. And today we are saying, you have told us, you have told us in your beautiful word, arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So today we will rise and shine just like your word says, Father, for your light has come. We are basking in your light, Father, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Thank you, Father, for your glory. Thank you, Father, for who you are. Here I am. Okay, we're going to start. Uh, Abba, Father, we worship your holy name. We ask that the Holy Spirit dwell in this place with us for all those that we will be watching, that will be watching and joining us in prayer this week. We seek you, Yahweh. Our hearts cry out to you and we surrender all that has become an idol in our lives without even knowing it. We surrender all the hurt that had been building up in our hearts. We surrender all doubts and fears and anxieties that have been swirling in our minds as we see and feel the shaking in the world as well as in the spirit. There has been stirring up in the things in the flesh as in the spirit. May every fiber of our body, mind, and spirit be in submission to your holiness. You have chosen us and are working in us. We ask you, Abba, in the mighty name, the name above all names, Yeshua HaMashiach, that all the chains of bondage may be broken from every single one of my brothers and sisters in Christ and their families, dear Lord. And for those that are coming here, dear Lord, to seek your word and your prayer, dear Lord, they're coming and seeking you in, in spirit and in truth, that the power of Yeshua's name bring freedom, light, sight, hearing, and life back to all the captives, to take away the darkness, heal the blind, the deaf, and the spiritually dead. We accept your gift of eternal life, Lord. We accept your son, Jesus, as our Lord and Savior. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. You lead us to victory. You fight with us in the battlefield, leading us. We can endure because of you. You encourage us and sustain us with the word when our bodies are weak after the battles. We follow you even when the storms and winters of life are unbearable. We follow you, Lord of Lords, because of who you are. We are nothing without you. We remember your faithfulness in our lives, Lord. You have never left us. We ask for all the prayer team here for each, the, each of the prayer requests sent in this week and those that have been, we've been praying for months and years for your will to be done in each of those lives. May despair be covered with gladness of heart. May song and praise and your word with great authority come forth for those that are fighting a spirit of intimidation May strength be renewed in the weary. May healing be spread throughout our brothers and sisters and their families. May all darkness and evil flee in the name of Jesus. We lift up all those that have requested prayer and for those that have kept their prayers to themselves as it is too hard to bear or they don't want to burden anyone else. We lift them all up to your Lord. Examine our hearts and clean us from the inside out. May our hearts be yours, Lord to love you and love our neighbors. You equip us for all this. Your light shines upon us. Your glory is before us. Our countenance will be light and joy because you are, you, O oh Father, have restored our life back to you. 
if we if we have you, we have everything. We thank you and honor you in advance for all that you will be doing in each of these lives. And we worship you for the salvation that has come by your glorious son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. And now I will be reading uh, the prayer requests that have come in for this week. And there's many that I haven't been able to, um, that we'll pray either way. We know that they are asking for prayers. Prayers for Suvi, prayers for healing and breakthrough from strongholds. Uh, the constant feeling of unworthiness and an ability to meet the needs of our Holy Father. Been sick for years. We're praying for Suvi, for Brandy S, for um, wants prayers for discernment and relief from headaches, having them every day. Some days are worse than others. We're praying for Sherry. Pray, please pray for me as I'm struggling to get out of abusive relationship. Uh, urgent prayers needed for Sherry, for Joanna P, asking for prayers for her friend Julie, for um, healing, healing in her life. For Amelia, uh, prayers for help, uh, to help pulling down strongholds in the house she is currently stay staying at. May God bring breakthrough in the family and home. For Dan, uh, Vicky, I would appreciate some prayers for a friend of my family. Martin is in bad shape. He is incoherent and doesn't have long to live. I wonder if we can pray for his salvation and for God to have mercy on his soul. Amen. Amen. We're praying for, for Martin. For Louis B. Louise or Louis B. Dear prayer warriors, may you please kindly pray for my family and loved ones. And so she, for her lovely sister, Marie Anise for Father Patrick, for Mother Veronique, Veronique, for younger brothers Raphael and Bienne and their kids, for friends um, and for her dear friends to be blessed. Dear Lord, we ask for all of these prayers, for strongholds to be broken, for bonds to be, in chains to be broken. Dear Lord, for your light to shine where there was darkness. Dear Lord, that darkness may flee, that evil may flee, and that your light may be dispersed in every single one of these people, dear Lord, that the strength, that your provision, that your protection be through for these people, every single one that needs an escape, to be able to escape, give them that, the ability to leave where they need to leave, give them direction where they need to go, Father, for healing and all these people, for strength, for encouragement, for you, dear Lord, to be their leader, their savior, their everything, God, we ask in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the name above all names. We pray for all of those uh, prayers that are still coming in, that will be coming in this week. We're still praying for the people that still need provisions, that still need protection, that still need healing, the breakthroughs, dear Lord, for deliverance, for salvation, for any type of addictions and anything that is binding them, dear Lord, in this, um, this grasp, dear Lord. You are the one that sets us free. You are our captain. You are our healer. You are our teacher. You are everything we need. You, dear Lord, we are the branches. You are the vine dresser. Your son is the vine. God, you are pruning us. You are making us to bear more fruit. That pruning, sometimes it feels not so good when we're going through it. Father, we are praying that we can endure till the end, that you are making and building up a church, your bride that is worthy of you, worthy of you, Father. Thank you because you have not given up on us, Father, even in those days that we do not seem or feel worthy or we feel cast out. You love the people that are cast out. You come for them. Thank you, Father, for never leaving us nor forsaking us and that you may pour out, dear Lord, and renew and pour out your oil, your anointing oil on us. The blood of Jesus cover all of these people that are coming here today. May your angels come and protect all of those that will be viewing this video, dear Lord, that will be um, in the next days and months coming to hear, dear Lord. For truth and for spirit, for word, for you, dear Lord, for your Holy Spirit to come and guide us as we are walking every single day. 
with you, Father. Thank you. Thank you because you go before us, because you are a great leader, Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Brothers and sisters in Christ, again, we are joined together in prayer, joined together um, as a church, as brothers and sisters in Christ. May we go and have the countenance of, of God, the glory of God, and the, the light of God in us. Be blessed. Gracias, Señor. Gracias por este tiempo. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén y amén. Dios los bendiga. God bless you.